Associated Press has now taken down a series of pictures showing Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz with a handgun seemingly pointed directly at his head. The AP says it did not intend to put the senator in a bad light, but critics are asking what the fallout would have been if this were the president standing there instead of Senator Cruz. Ann Coulter is a conservative commentator and author of Adios America, the left's plan to turn our country into a third world hellhole. And it's good to see you. I like the way you read it. It's always fun to, to read the titles of your books. It, that is the question. If that had been Hillary Clinton, if that had been President Obama, the left would have been losing their mind over this. Oh, yes. And the I AP, mean, would they have no, done it? No, I mean, that is so outrageous. Don't insult our intelligence by saying, oh, we didn't even notice. It was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, who, who would have seen something like that? Because um, well, they had to get by the photographer. The photographer had to take the picture. Yeah, look at they it. They had to crop the picture. The <laughs> editor had to okay the picture. Right, right. and again, look at it. Um, I have a whole chapter in my book, Mugged, about racial demagoguery on the uh, claims that, that Obama was at particular risk of assassination. You you know, because he's black and we're a country teeming with racism. Everything reminds liberals that this is a racist country. It could be a warm summer's breeze. Um, and in fact, um, one of the big claims was that um, they kept claim saying, well, he got Secret Service protection before any other president. And no, he didn't. He got it three months after he declared for president. Ronald Reagan got it the day he declared for president. It's just that people start declaring earlier these days. And for, I don't know if you remember this, but for the first um, two years after Obama announced and the first year of his presidency, it was repeated endlessly that he was getting more threats, you know, again, because we're a massively racist country. And then finally, at the end of 2009, the head of the Secret Service testified under no oath, no, we're getting no more threats against this president than the last two. It was just, it's liberals' fantasies about racist America, mostly, and being the flames are fanned by um, the America's leading hate group, the Southern Poverty Law Center. Um, and they, they are, even as there are only two groups, white supremacy groups that are big enough even to be tracked on the internet. Um, I think it's the Klan and Stormfront. And it's, I mean, they have like seven members. And the, um, you can look on the internet to see how many hits they're getting. It's been going down since well, this for is the past two years, the Southern Poverty, Southern Poverty Law Center I mean, keeps lying. They try to stand up, they say, against racism and so on. However, that's the same group that, that once deemed Ben Carson, uh, I, I think, uh, um, yeah. some sort of major <laughs> yes. threat to the United States. But let me ask you, because I, when, when Sarah Palin went up with her ad that had crosshairs on it, right. just crosshairs, not, a, not an actual gun, right. um, saying these are the Democratic districts that are targeted, she wound up getting blamed for the shooting right. of Gabby Giffords, for the shooting of her. Yeah. But it's okay. Like... God forbid anything were to happen to Senator Cruz, you know, as a result of this threatening photo. Would there be similar outrage? Shouldn't everyone be more careful if they're going to apply that kind of a standard to messaging? Yes, but they aren't. I mean, during Bush's presidency, there was both a book um, fantasizing about his assassination and a documentary portraying his assassination, which got, you know, rave reviews in The Washington Post. Nation magazine called it the best date movie of 2006. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, and you can go to this website, Zombie Time. I don't know if it's still up, but it was all of the assassinations, decapitations, guns to Bush's head at liberal protests. Um, Obama comes along, there's a Tea Party protest, and there's a picture of Obama that, you know, looks like a monkey. <laughs> We're in the grips of racism once again. Well, oh, my gosh, could we compare the two presidents? Typically, what we've seen with President Obama has been, people have been talking about this on Twitter today, the halo effect. He's, he's right, pictured, right. and they put sort of this <laughs> halo on him. Look, look, <laughs> look at this, and look what happened to Senator Cruz. Look, at, I mean, it's like, ah. Uh, well, also, and Senator Ted Cruz, were he a Democrat, and oh, not oh, as, oh, well, as vocal I about think the Second Amendment, yeah. who would be the first Hispanic president, you know, would he be getting different? I mean, it's just, it's subtle to some people, but not to others. No, look at that picture. It's not subtle. I'd also mention that Ronald Reagan took an assassin's bullet one, one month after being elected. Little harmless Jerry Ford had two crazed liberals take a shot at him. Loaded gun, Little fired right at him. Jerry so Ford. maybe we can back off on the hysteria about... America being a racist country every time anything ha the sun rises and <laughs> the wind blows. <laughs> and good to see you as always. Good to see you. She's she's interesting, isn't she? She is.